Exciting days lie ahead for ESA astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti as she trains for her second long-duration mission aboard the International Space Station, ISS. Known as Minerva, this mission will see the Italian ESA astronaut launch to the station from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida in a Crew Dragon spacecraft. For her first mission, Futura, which was provided by the Italian space agency ASI and began in 2014, Samantha flew to the ISS on a Soyuz vehicle. Regarding the vehicle, the training experience has been uh, definitely quite different. Um, on Soyuz, I was a, um, a flight engineer, um, so sort of like a co-pilot. Um, I had a very deep knowledge of uh, the systems and I was a full backup of, of the commander for all the tasks on board. On Dragon, I will be a um, mission specialist, uh, so I will not have uh, a direct interaction with uh, the systems on board. That will be a responsibility of my uh, two crewmates, uh, Chell and Farmer. So my training load was, uh, was a lot smaller in, uh, in this case. Like all ESA astronauts, Samantha will carry out many scientific experiments on the ISS and within the European Columbus Laboratory. The space station's weightless environment provides opportunities for research that is not possible on the ground. On the ISS, Samantha may even have a brief crossover with ESA astronaut Matthias Maurer before his return to Earth. The name of Samantha's second mission, Minerva, is inspired by the Roman goddess of wisdom, handicrafts and the arts. It's a homage to the competence and craftsmanship of all those who make human spaceflight possible. The name also represents the traits Samantha attributes to human spaceflight. I also like to play with words, and for each letter that makes up the name Minerva, I can think of a word with that initial letter that gives context and meaning to my flight to space, but in a broader sense to human spaceflight. So M for marvel, uh, I for inspiration, uh, and for nourishment, which can be physical nourishment, but also spiritual nourishment. Um, e for exploration, R for research, V for voyage, and A for adventure. The theme of exploration, voyage, and the human achievements of spaceflight are also echoed in Samantha's new mission patch, which features Minerva's sacred owl. The eye of the owl is a yellow moon casting a white glow onto Earth. Its beak is reminiscent of the shape of the International Space Station, while the two lines also symbolize Samantha's two missions to space. The owl's body is made up of waves of ever darker blue, encouraging humankind to rise to the challenge as we move further into deep space. An ambition Samantha shares. Yeah, I'm very excited, of course, about the, um, the next program of uh, human space exploration, the, the Artemis program. Um, ESA plays a, um, a major role in that we uh, provide um, the service module for Orion, for the spaceship that uh, will bring um, astronauts back to um, moon, uh, to the orbit of, uh, of the moon. Um, and I, I really hope um, that this is just the beginning and that um, Europe and you know the, the, the countries and the member states of ESA and ESA will um, be more and more ambitious when it comes to um, capabilities uh, regarding human space flight so that we can be um, more and more in the future um, equal partners uh, as we um, expand our presence uh, in space. Samantha has a full schedule of training and the lead up to launch, splitting her time between the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany and NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, as ESA counts down to another action-packed mission in orbit.